It's not very often when you come across a knife that you just immediately fall in love with the minute you pull it out of the box. This knife is an excellent example of that theory. It's light, thin, slim. It's just an awesome knife. And this knife is the Kershaw Knockout in all of drab handles with black DLC coating. Uh, let's get right into the knife. So, yeah. Uh, this might be a short review, might be a long review, I don't know. But I'm going to stop myself at the 10 minute mark. So, no matter where I am, I'm just going to shut the camera off. Because I like to keep my videos in the 10, 15 minute mark. But I'm going to go for the 10 today. So, I don't want to waste any more time. Especially yours. I don't care about mine. Because I'm just waving. I have all day. So, yeah. Let's talk about the handles first. Um, the handle is made out of 6061 aluminum. It's olive drab. I don't know if you can see that. Because the lighting looks kind of brown. But it's green. It's green. Uh, about a three and a quarter inch blade. And the, that, and the steel on this is the Kershaw Exclusive 14C28N. Which is much better than the old school for, uh, 13C26 steel which sucked the minute you get it it's rusted so this is a major upgrade and it's a Kershaw exclusive that you can't get the steel anywhere other than Kershaw knives like the Skyline the Piston the Blur the Chive all those knives all their higher end knives uh, it's speed safe it's nice um, and Kershaw for their 2014 line, they introduced a few of their new sub frame locks, which is a frame lock where they literally knocked out the rest of the frame to make it lighter. And this knife is really light for what you're getting, which is a big knife. I'm not sure how they got it that light, probably because it's just everything's thin. Uh, they knocked out part of the frame. Everything's just thin about it. The blade, stock, it's thick enough, but you could call that that tips that tips on the delicate side. So yeah, it's a good pointy tip. Focus. Focus. Yeah, the f I'm gonna focus. Alright, and I know a lot of guys are going to dig this. It is made. In the freaking USA. Says Kershaw. Which I know a lot of people like. And I can't stand it when people are always ragging on the, uh, whatever it is. Knives from, knives in other countries uh oh and they're like oh I won't buy any knife unless it's made in the US uh I I, I, I guess it's taste because they want to support USA made stuff but you're missing out uh there's a lot of great knives that are made in other countries um I'll get into a few of those knives and competitive options at the end of the video so if you don't feel like spending 65 to $70 on this, you can get another knife that I'll recommend. Some have been reviewed, some have not. I don't know. I'm sure I'll get around, get around to reviewing all of them. So, yeah. Uh, this DLC coating absolutely blows away the Teflon. Not coming off. 
Uh, if you're wondering what DLC stands for, it's Diamond Light Coating. It's kick ass. Uh, pocket clip. It's not loop over, which I don't like because you have nothing to grab onto. Whereas this, you get a little bit to grab on to. So, I like it. Just about perfect. It's got like a Teflon type finish to it. So, yeah. And the handles are anodized. And after a while of use, it'll start to scrape off. I think it'll just look Boba Fett cool. So, Boba Fett's awesome. So, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this as a uh, tactical knife, per se. This is more of an EDC. Because there's no jumping. Now, do you really need jimping? Um, that's for you to decide. But I, I like it. I, I, it's not something that'll make or break the knife. But I, I, I prefer jimping. It's just there if you need it. There if you don't. Um, handles, they're slick. It is a very comfortable grip. You can get a whole, you can get all your fingers on that. So it's probably, it might be a five finger grip. You, you could, there's enough room to have another finger, which you won't need, but I'm just giving you that so you can kind of picture how big it is. So, yeah. This knife is an awesome lefties knife and righties because it comes tapped for all four carry positions tip up, right, tip up, left, tip down right tip down left so it's tapped on all four sides which is awesome it's got phosphor bronze bushings for a really nice deployment uh, Zytel backspacer which is good thumb studs are easily accessible nothing there's nothing getting out of the way no volcano issues they don't look they're not too pointy. I, I like I'm kind of rounded. So, yeah. Uh, let's get into competitive options. Oh, and Kershaw up upgraded their box, I think. So, yeah. This is this little black striper is there now. Don't need that. So, ooh, bad deployment. Hit the background. Uh, Kershaw knockout. Um, this is probably a more heavy use knife. I've done a few videos on it, and that is the Cold Steel Code 4. Um, let's say you want a, spe uh, a speed safe knife, but you don't feel like spending 60 bucks. I have a, I have the perfect knife for you, and if you, I hope you like stone wash. Kershaw Swerve. It's a sweet knife. It is thick though, like really thick. It's hand filling. And let's say you like Emerson's, and you also like Kershaw, but you don't like to spend all kinds of money on Emerson's. You can get Kershaw Emerson collaboration knife. This is the CQC6K. I think all these knives will compete with this knife, but this knife, the steel of this knife beats all these knives so yeah os 8 8 cr 8 cr 14 c 20 n this is better i'm not a steel snob at all so yeah if i had to pick a knife other than the um knockout sorry but i like this knife not as much Or this knife. Code 4. You know it. Love this knife. I was just using it. So there's, there's wear on it. Yeah. It's so actually you know what? I'm going to extend the time limit to 12 minutes. Because I can't finish. <laughs> Sorry. It's just so thin. Here let's do a little comparison. Really light. Look at that. Wow. That's 
beats and actually the code four beats the uh, knockout. So yeah, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the code four because it's got bigger reach. But I do like the steel on this better. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna call it here. And the reason I didn't do my normal intro is because I'm changing the name of my channel. For reasons that won't go and won't be publicized but yeah so by the next video i'll probably have that channel name up there so yeah thanks for watching i give this knife a nine and a half out of ten this just gets a solid ten this knife rocks but i also like this knife thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe